Welcome back everyone, Coney is here. Today I'm flying from Charleston, South Carolina to Fayetteville, North Carolina. It's quite rainy and dark, uh, but we'll make a go of it. So let's go ahead and get started, take off. Actually, before I do that, let me go ahead and set up autopilot. So we are going to want, let's say, 3,000 feet to start. Whoa, okay, the controls are a little touchy. Okay, there's 3,000. We're going to want nav on. And so let's go ahead and get started. I believe parking brake is now off. Let's get going. Alright, we are airborne. Let's get just a bit of altitude going here. Landing gear up. KH-407, continue for north departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. Charleston Tower, KH-407, continue for north departure. Alright, flaps up. So I believe I did turn nav on, just make sure. Turn autopilot on. Alright, so now we're under airplane control. It's going to make a correction in the heading. We also want to go up to our 3,000 feet, so I'll turn flight level change on. Alright, so we should be automated right now. Just have to keep an eye on the throttle. And just check in general that things are working properly. I feel like maybe I should turn on the windshield wipers, but... I mean, there's nothing to see if I did. Might be good practice, though. Let's see. Let's see if I can remember where... Windshield wiper. There we go. Alright, well I want to go outside into the rain. There's not really going to be much to see. Actually, before I do that, let me just see what the temperature is like here. 58. Okay, so I don't think there's much danger of ice. Okay, we're leveling off, and so I need to pull back on the throttle. So I've got it at the midway point, so we'll level off. Alright, so anyway, let's go outside. Just a sea of gray, nothing to see out here. I don't know if we could get up above all of this. Might be worth trying. Well, we do have a ways to go before we get to the airport. So... So I'm tempted to give that a shot. So let's set a new target altitude of, let's say, 7,000 feet. Alright, there's 7,000, approximately. 7,100 is fine. Let's do flight level change again. Um, I may have to give it some more throttle. Let's see if it's able to nose up. Not really. Let me give it some more throttle. 
I only have a little bit of room before the engine over torques. Just a little bit. There we go. That ought to nose us up there, maybe. Yeah, this is really kind of scary, but autopilot, I trust. Um, yeah, I know where we are, so we should be fine. And of course, it's all imaginary, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, temperature is 56. I think we're fine. Uh, again, there's really no point in going outside except just to look at the airplane. Kind of a nice shot with the sun up there. Maybe I can make that sort of photogenic. Looks kind of cool. Uh, so we're slowly climbing, almost 4,000 feet. I could go into the drone. Maybe I can go up and see where the weather sh cuts off. Alright, so I need to speed this up. We'll stay connected to the plane. Alright, so now I'm rising. There's no way to really tell the drone's altitude. Um, I'll just keep rising until I see something change. And just Again, there's just no way to know where I am relative to the ground. Just go check on the plane real quick. Speed is good, altitude is good, heading is good. Okay, go back to rising up. Uh, you know, I wouldn't even know what the altitude is where the clouds clear, but I do see them starting to clear. So there's some hope to get above them. And that would be nice if we can do that. As far as I know, there's no way to tell what the drone altitude is. That's just kind of unfortunate. Anyway, uh, oh, I see a plane ahead of us. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to go back inside. It feels a little disorienting because I don't know where the ground is. Uh, the Garmin knows where the ground is. One thing I'm curious about, I thought I put the windshield wipers on slow. I think they are on slow. Uh, so, I wouldn't want to see what fast looks like. Um, so let's see, we are at almost at 6,000. I don't think that's going to be enough to get up over the clouds. Um, we'll see when we get there. Almost seems like the windshield wipers might not be doing anything for us right now. So let me go ahead and turn those off. So those are off. Yeah, we're not getting hit with rain anymore, so that's fine. Let's go outside and look around. I wonder if I look up if I can see a hole and kind of an opening. Not really. We're almost at our target altitude. I think we'll want to set a new target, but until then I'm going to pull back on the throttle and let us level off. It will change temporarily. We're within the range of altitude control anyway. Uh, set a new target altitude of 11,000 feet. Okay, I wonder 11,000 feet. A little tricky to use this thing sometimes. There's 11,000. Copy KH407. Flight will change. Give it some more throttle. 
we should nose up a little bit. Got to push the engines right up to the limit. I'm looking at these controls. If I go any higher, they're going to start complaining. Oops. Okay. So um, hit the uh, three, the Xbox controller joystick. Anyway, um, looks like the rain has come back. Looks like we are headed up higher. Let's turn this back. the orange livery today. I thought that would be a nice change. Not really sure which of my which of those are my favorite yet. So the drone was pretty high up there when it found blue sky, so we might have a ways to go. And then I'm going to have to burn off all that altitude. We'll only be able to stay up there a little while. Assuming I get there. One two eight decimal seven KH four zero seven. Jacksonville Center KH four zero seven nine thousand three hundred feet. KH four zero seven Jacksonville Center continue as planned. It's interesting, I'm looking at my UPS, we're pulling like 600 watts on my Aurora R11, which is interesting because we're not really seeing a lot of visual detail. I guess it's probably all the volumetric cloud processing, maybe? Um, that's my guess. And there's that other craft over there. Not sure who that is. Alright, we're getting closer to our 11,000 target. It doesn't look like that's getting us above the clouds yet. I could keep trying. We get pretty high in altitude, but that ought to be fine. Alright, so what I don't know is if I need to do something at these higher altitudes around oxygen flow. Um, not really familiar with this stuff. Okay, that sets the apparent cabin altitude at 8,000. Alright, so I feel like this is probably set correctly. Looks like pressurizing is on. So I'll assume that's okay and that we're not going to suffocate. Uh, temperature is wet. It's getting cold, so which I would expect. I might need to turn de-icing on just in case. Okay, so de-icing is going to be here. Going to one tree tree decimal four five KH four zero seven. Jacksonville Center KH four zero seven eleven thousand feet. KH four zero seven Jacksonville Center continue as planned. Altimeter tree zero decimal zero nine. Okay, something beeped. Could be that we reached our target altitude. Still no blue sky. Uh, temperature is 37. All right, let's go a little higher. Let's see if we can get above those clouds. So let's set this to, let's see, 14,000. All 
Alright, there's enough headroom in the throttle to nose up a little bit, I think, maybe, maybe a little bit. I can't really push any f more forward on the throttle stick at this point. Okay, we're climbing slowly, so that might be okay. Check the barometer. Oh yeah, it was way off. Okay. So I think this is about as fast as I can climb. 30 degrees. So maybe it was 31 before and not 37. Yeah, I think it was. So that's obviously cold. I've got the I've got the de-icing on, so that should be fine. So we're at over 13,000 feet, still no clouds, so I'm going to abandon the attempt to get up over the clouds, because otherwise we're going to have a lot of altitude to burn off. So to do that, first of all, I'm going to cut back on the throttle to about a quarter. And let's set a new target altitude of, let's say, 8,000. Drop the throttle just a bit more. I don't think I engaged. No, I did engage. Okay, that's fine. I actually need the flight level speed increased. So let's get this up to somewhere in the 200s. Alright, and now we'll actually start dropping. So when you turn on flight level change, it remembers what speed you're at and uses that as the speed it's going to follow, but if you're already level, it may not be able to drop, and so you have to pick that speed up in order to let it dip and try to achieve that speed by reaching your altitude target. I feel like I'm occasionally seeing lightning flashes, but I think nothing definitive. 
It may just be little bumps in the clouds going by on the left side. It just, it's a flash, but it doesn't look like a bright flash. It looks like a dark flash. We may not need the windshield wipers. Let's turn those off. Until those are necessary. I wouldn't mind dropping a little faster. I guess maybe I need to pull back on the throttle some more and it'll dip to make up the speed. I'm not sure why it's not going any faster than this. Maybe it has a certain vertical descent speed that it's not going to exceed. That could be it. Yeah, there was one of those dark flashes again. I, again, I think it's just a gap between the ball venture clouds as we're flying through, you know, bumpy, cloudy space. We're almost at our altitude target. We've switched to altitude hold mode now. So now we want to go to another target, let's say 4,000. nosing down. Again, nothing to see in any direction. At least it's dry. I want to check the internal temperature. I may, need, may not need the de-icing stuff turned on. I think we're okay at 43. So let's turn this stuff off. Alright, I think we're good. I'm not sure why it beeps when you turn the pedo uh, DSing off. Not what I wanted. Here. Didn't mean to hit Landing that button. Oops, I didn't mean to hit escape either. What do I want? I want to do this. Okay, I don't know what the F1 button is assigned to. I hit that by accident and it wanted to say landing gear, but I must have engaged something. Um, autopilot is still on. We're still heading down to 4,000, so I think we're okay. I'm going to check the barometer. Fine. Only to look up later and see what I activated by hitting F1. Um, I assume the landing gear is still down. I mean, it must be, right? Let's see. I mean, it's up, right? Yep. That's what I meant. So there's not much to do at this point except just watch the meters and try to fly the plane towards the target here. Really just isn't much in the way of any kind of scenery. the sun glows up there, and there's another airplane, a couple of them actually. It'd be kind of nice if there was a way to click on them and see who that, see what their marker was at. I have markers turned on, but they don't always show up, and they might actually be there hidden by the clouds.
not sure how the panel slid over. I know that I can click audio twice and it'll go back. I'm not sure how to get it to properly go back. Um, I've downloaded the G1000 manual online. I just haven't sat down to read all of it. There's a lot of stuff to go through. And I prefer to learn things as I go. Alright, we're approaching our new target altitude. My next target is going to be 2,500 feet. So as soon as it kicks into altitude control, which it just did, when it gets 300 within the range, so let's set this to 2,500. I think, th I think they've been made this a little easier. Sometimes when the plane's jostling around, it's hard to turn this knob, but it feels like they've made it a stick a little bit more. It's not flipping off the knob as the plane moves around. That's nice. Again, flight level change. I'm going to pull back on the throttle a bit more and also increase the airspeed target. Doesn't seem to want to go much faster than around there or something. Probably an aspect of the weather. Now, if I was a real pilot at this point, I might be concerned that I was relying too much on instruments and realize that I really don't have any idea where I am, what my orientation is, what direction I'm pointed, or if I'm even level or not upside down. But there is this backup digital control and I don't think there's any other, like an analog horizon, but um, I think with, I think there's a few backup systems. So the Garmin itself, I believe, has it has a backup system you can engage that goes to a more primitive interface. I've engaged it before. I'm not sure where to turn that on. I think it's called display reversion. And then, uh, and then again, this completely separate system dedicated just doing the metrics and horizon and whatnot. Um, well, that should be good enough, but again, I don't know exactly where I'm at. Um, however, this is using GPS. It's obviously moving. It's, it would seem clear that it does know where I'm at. If I had to figure that out on my own, um, I guess I don't know what I would do. I guess I would use a separate GPS device or not sure. Maybe VOR if I didn't trust GPS. That's one thing I haven't done yet is navigate by VOR. I'd like to try that sometime. Seems like it'd be an interesting thing to try. I realized why I hit the F1 by accident. I was trying to hit the number one button on the flight controller stick, which reverts the view back to the default. And I was thinking F1, and I pressed the keyboard F1 instead. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. All right, we've reached our target altitude. I'm happy with this altitude. Uh, we're going a little on the slow side, but that I think is OK, because we're close we're over land. We want to begin speeding down to land soon. I don't think it's too early to put the landing gear down. So we're going to go ahead and do that. As we approach the airport, I will engage the flaps maybe maybe soon or maybe just throttle up. I think the flaps would be a better choice at this point. And we're going to give it some throttle. 
I probably should have engaged autopilot first, but that's okay. It disengaged itself, I believe. Yep, so we're good there. Alright, so I'm now in control of the plane. Uh, let's see if we can maintain our altitude. Let's get our speed up, because with the flaps down, a lot of that speed is going into pushing us up instead of forward. Can't really see anything having to do with the airport. Let's see if we can keep ourselves in line with the heading. And I don't want to lose altitude at this point. I'm going to give it some more throttle. Well, the throttle's already actually up as far as it can go safely, so I need to pull back on that a bit. It does seem like we're going awfully slow. Um, maybe I shouldn't have the landing gear down. I guess we're supposed to have the landing gear, especially at this speed. Alright, I'm gonna bring the flaps back up. I'm just a little concerned that I've engaged that too early and we're losing speed too quickly and it's a little unsafe. Bring the throttle back to halfway. And I'm gonna bring it down a bit. I wanna try to stay within the flap engaging range. Yeah, so I think, that w I think that was too early. Now we're speeding up quite a bit. So let me p engage the landing gear again. That'll slow us down a bit. And we'll back on the throttle. We don't need to be doing this fast. I am losing altitude though, so let's uh, send those up a bit here. Alright, so we're at a pretty decent altitude and our speed is approaching uh, flap range again, so I think we're in pretty good shape. I uh, need to get more precisely on course here. Again here. Almost there, not quite. A little bit more. So now I am going to put down the flaps, bring the throttle up to halfway, push forward on the stick, okay, and we want to make sure we don't drop too much speed, might have to up throttle a bit more, be nice to stay around this speed until we're in the landing pattern. Pilot will soon contact the tower and ask for landing clearance. I could afford to just do another slight adjustment to our heading, get us exactly right on course. Of course, the landing pattern may require us to make a turn, so it may not be that important. Ok, 
Okay, I'm gonna give it a bit more throttle, like a little bit more safety room on the speed as we get there. Hear those twin engines working hard. So I feel like we're in good shape. I'm gonna check the barometer again. Change slightly, not no, not really noticeable. Those little bumps are me handling the stick, not so much the wind and the weather. Um, there's times when tiny little micro adjustments make a big difference. I'm curious what the outside temperature is, but I have both hands on the stick right now and it's not a good time to look down there. If I had a VR headset, it'd be convenient. Um, but it looks like speed, heading, and altitude are all what we want right now. Fayetteville approach KH407. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. KH407 Fayetteville approach. Clear to the Charlie airspace. I kind of wish they had a few more pilot voices. It's a very limited set of available voices. I've looked in it. I didn't seem to a way to f download any new Microsoft speech packs for U.S. English. Okay, usually by now the pilot contacts and asks for landing clearance. Um, I don't know why we're not set to land there. That's where I was trying to land. Fayetteville Tower KH407 is 90 miles southwest with echo to land. KH407 Fayetteville Tower. Okay, so let's see where this landing pattern Make shows up. In runway Speed. It's a little bit of a problem at the moment. Oh, we're right on it. Okay. Well, that's pretty handy. I'm going to turn on the windshield wiper. I can do that safely. We're going too fast. Let's pull the throttle back to halfway. And I am going to... This seems awfully fast. I don't think I wanted it to be that fast. There we go. Slow. Okay, so I'm going to hug the right side and use that as a way of keeping my visual center on the runway. I'm going to pull back to a quarter on the throttle, try to get the speed down. Visual on the runway yet. Runway four KH four zero seven. Let's 
speed's good. Maybe a little bit low, but if it doesn't go any lower, I think we'll be okay. Uh, we are descending, so we'll get some speed out of that. Pull back a little bit on the throttle, try to get just a little slower. Hover in the 100 range, maybe. Still no visual on the runway. Too fast, okay. Okay, we're gonna go way down on the throttle now. I think it's that the descent rate must have changed. I might have picked up some altitude. I shouldn't have. Okay, we'll need some more throttle. So we're going to want to start really dropping in speed here. We're going to pull throttle, put throttle all the way at the bottom, and then I will thrust up if we need to. Really can't tell where the runway is. Okay, we'll need some throttle to get over. Okay, I can kind of see the runway lights now. That's good. I'm going to de-throttle, see if we can glide in here. Seems like we ought to be able to. Okay, I do see the runway. I think I'm okay as long as I keep the descent angle good. I'm getting a little off course, but that's alright. Alright, we're gonna pull up and try to hover and Get those rear wheels on the ground. That's a little rough. I think it was uh, probably okay, but it was just a bit rough. And it breaks and flaps up for safety. And hey, let's take this exit. Alright, so a little bit of a rough hey, landing, but I think it was okay. Uh, so let's put the parking brake on. And let's get taxi to parking. I'm thinking maybe the airport destination got turned off due to the weather. Um, maybe something along the lines of needing IFR clearance or something. Okay, looks like we've got a taxi ribbon. To General Aviation parking via taxiway Bravo KH407. Oh, parking's right here. That's handy. Wow. Can't really get much more convenient than that. Wow, that's nice. Looks like a very small parking spot, but that's all we need. Don't want to hit him! Ah, okay. Parking brake on. Throttle down. Engine shutdown start. Shutting down a lot quicker than they normally do, maybe because of the cold. Let's see, what temperature is it? 35, yeah, it's cold. Alright, well that was my flight from Charleston 
to Fayetteville. Um, in the rain, not much to look at, but it feels like we made it safely. Safely. I wasn't happy with the bumpiness of the landing. It was difficult to manage, you know, the all the different characteristics of the plane at the last minute before landing, but I feel like that would have been an, an okay landing. Um, all right, so the engines are off. Let's turn the plane off. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.